All right, guys, I'm back as promised. Um, I'm just going to show you really quickly what you need to complete in this unit four um, inquiry book that we, we started before we left school. So you know what you need to get done, right? So here's the unit four inquiry notebook. If you scroll down to page three, I've highlighted in yellow all of the um, different cells and boxes that you need to, to complete. If you've already completed this assignment and turned it in, um, then you're probably good to go. If you feel like, oh shoot, I didn't do that thing and I wanna go back and fix it, just unsubmit it, fix the thing you need to fix and then resubmit, it's no big deal, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is complete this learned box right here. Um, if you could give me, oops, three different things that you came away from this unit with. And remember this unit encompasses both the industrial revolution and the slavery piece that we've worked on. Just give me three bullets of things that you've taken away from what we've done here. Um, and I'll be happy with that, all right? Once you've done that, scroll past this ATL pre-assessment. If it's filled in, then you did this on the day that we all did it together. And if it's not, then you missed it and that's okay. Don't worry about it, skip it, okay? What you're gonna settle on is the unit questions. Okay, um, so you've got a factual question. Why did the economies of the North and the South develop differently? Uh, that was at the very, very beginning. We took some notes on it. If you don't have your notes because they're all at school because we had no idea this was gonna happen. Um, that's okay. Again, do what you can with that. If you can remember back, we talked a lot about geography with that and maybe that little hint will help you a little bit, um, but it has a lot to do with the geography of the two places uh, as far as why they develop differently. So maybe you can give me a couple points on that. Uh, the conceptual question here, how did the institution of slavery impact the culture of the South? Uh, just answer this with one piece of evidence and explain it. Uh, so just a short, I don't know, like five sentences maybe would do right there. You just finished the slavery piece. When we talk about how it impacted the culture, think about the ways that um, holding slaves might have affected the way uh, white people saw black people in the South, how that may have continued into today. You could think on that show way book that, that I shared with you that story that has a lot to do with culture um so kind of think about that um conceptual question number two how did changes made during the industrial revolution make a lasting impact on society uh this has to go you know you got to go way back you got to go back before spring break and all of that think about your industry that you did your um psa on and and what lasting impact did that industry have on us today so for instance let's say that you're doing um, steel industry or some kind of manufacturing industry, has that had a lasting impact in terms of the environment, let's say? Like, is it highly polluting and, and it's made a big, big impact that way? Or the communications industry, obviously, I'm communicating to you right now through internet and all of that, so major lasting impact. Again, five sentences or so, give me one, one piece of evidence to support what you wanna say uh, and go from there. The debatable question here, um, I'm asking for an eight sentence paragraph. Do the best you can with that, all right? Um, but could either the North or the South have changed their economic basis? Why or why not? Um, so do you think that the North could have gone into slavery or do you think that the South could have gone into industry? Why would that or would that not have been able to happen? Do the best you can with that with some evidence. Uh, if you can only go five sentences, you've got one piece of evidence. You wanna talk about it for a couple of, of sentences of commentary, great. Again, all I want guys is for you to attempt it to the best of your ability, all right? Push yourselves if you're able. And if you're like, you know, I'm not feeling this and I just wanna turn this in and not be missing an assignment, that's okay. Just at least attempt each, each question, okay? All right, past that, these are the ATL skills that we looked at. I'm gonna be honest with you, these three questions right here, I would I would have you answer them normally, um, but because most of them deal with the industrial revolution and that is so far back now, I, I just don't wanna put undue stress on you for no reason, all right? If I were in your situation and I was gonna to have to answer these questions, I would feel like, man, that feels like a lifetime ago and I don't remember and I don't have access, just skip it. Okay, don't worry about it. I didn't highlight it because I don't, that's fine. If you already did it, bless you. I'm sorry that I didn't 
think about this uh, until after a bunch of you contacted me asking if it was due. I forgot that I'd made it due this week. That was, you know, a lifetime ago before there was COVID-19. So um, anyway, learner profile connections, these I do want you to do right here. Just fill out the end of each statement. I was a communicator in this unit when I created a commercial or I had to communicate how I felt about my um, industry or when I uh, created a, an art piece to show how I felt about slavery. I became more knowledgeable about slavery or the industrial revolution or this industry or that industry. I demonstrated the qualities of the thinker most when I had to think about how I cre would create a piece of art to illustrate something that I learned about. It is important to be an inquirer when studying history because if you only look an inch deep and the subject goes a mile wide, then um, you're, you're not going to understand everything. You got to ask questions to know. Okay. And then as a society, we need to be reflective over past events because what do we learn from that, guys? I mean, even right now in the situation that we're in, can we learn from past events to know how to handle a situation like this? So um, hopefully those hints help. Do the best you can. Um, once you're done with that, just submit it. If you've already done it and it's submitted and you're happy and you don't want to go back, congratulations. You are done this week. Take a break. It's on me. Enjoy.